Hey guys, welcome to a week. Eight day seven. So today's uh, five to seven miles. I've already done 4.7, but I'm going to be going for the seven naturally. I've only got uh, four and a half laps to go at the reserve. Uh, yep, really feeling it a little bit today. Alright, see you soon. Hey guys, so I ended up having a bit of a uh, technical issue with the GoPro at the end of my run today, so I decided to chuck on a couple of videos of me geocaching with Becky after the run. This was at Billy's Creek. I'm uh, just going to use that as a video overlay for the voice. So, the last lap of the reserve, I ended up doing a faster run, uh, well, faster loop than most of the others, and it's really good to be doing 864 meter laps because they tend to go by pretty quick. Uh, in the end, I ended up doing 14 laps of the small area, like I've seen people so many times, including a couple of friends from my running history, so it was good to see those guys there. Uh, not much else to say. I felt really sluggish after yesterday's run, but it still turned out to be like 5.33 pace for the whole uh, 11 and a half k's, a good way to end this week. Tomorrow I see myself doing another 10k run. I'm going up to Mount Cannibal with uh, Becky Matthews tomorrow, so that will be good. Somewhere new that I haven't been before, probably uh, doing uh, five laps there. I think it's a 2k loop, so five laps there, get the 10k's done, go have some lunch or something. Um, I've had a few thoughts going through my mind today, like we just had the change of daylight savings and I'm just wondering what training is going to be like. Um, usually this time of the year I'm operating at my peak performance. Like my fastest marathon times have been in June with the Tarelgan Marathon. Uh, some of my fastest park runs have been set in this time of the year. So I do think it's going to be good. I'm just not sure how I'm going to cope with the levels of training that I'm doing. I've had a few thoughts going through my mind and I've never th until today thought of not being able to do this run even after all the training. Like, have a look at Buffalo Stampede, I've got that in 12 days and it's taken me three years to be doing this. What if the 100k ends up being the same as well? Anyway, I'm looking forward to catching up with Becky tomorrow and just voicing some of these to someone else rather than just on the computer. Uh, anyone that watches these, it would be good to hear your thoughts. Do you think this training is going to be good for me? Do you think it will see me finish my 100k run? Or will this be something that I'm chiseling away at over the next few years, trying to get closer and closer to the goal? Or will this be like a one-shot, uh, one-kill kind of thing? Um, yeah, it's hard to tell. I need to have a long run. I've got a couple of long runs next weekend, so I can really suss this out. Um, Tarogan's third birthday next week. I am thinking I might do some geocaching on that run. I'll see how I go. They're having an earlier start. I'll see how I feel by the end of the week. Um, yeah, just a couple of thoughts that I'm throwing out there. Uh, yeah, not sure what else to say. It's good that we've gone back an hour. Technically it's 20 to 10 now instead of 20 to 9. I'll get this video encoded and uploaded for all of you to see. Uh, part of this video may show some of the process I use to upload and encode this video as well in Wondershare Filmora. Uh not going to show all of it, obviously just the bit that I'm voicing. 
So to all of you, have a good night, have a happy Easter. Don't get pranked too much today for those in America. And see you tomorrow for a new adventure. Bye.